a proper intro today we're going to make a gun now I know I know I said in the last video that I'm going to make a defense system for the ICBM but eh this idea seems better no I, I'm not gonna make an empty adventure just a custom map over here as you can see very nice and customy uh, maybe large roof size more roof space please I give it 40 over there and maybe this one could be nah it's fine there you go you now have this nice ret large rectangular space to work on the gun so recently maybe last month that's quite recently right I have reverse engineer a my, one of my toy guns and I want to create that here it is a very very nice weapon so the first thing I'm going to build is a uh, firing system so that, the way it should work is that there's going to be multiple spring uh, a very long spring at the back maybe high a uh, high very long high pressured spring at the back and so there's going to be a very long string that is pressurized and when once the the trigger is pulled it's going to release a spring and cause it to go forward and hit the explosive part of the uh, ammunition so we're going to do that today we're gonna increase max speed and max pressure to max you know what i think we only need two of these guys and okay there you go i think that's long a very long firing pin now is this long enough well we'll have to see we'll put this thick plank over here hopefully it extends that far oh i guess it's long enough eh <laughs> that's good now we're going to make the uh part where there's a, the part the triggery part you know trigger the part where the trigger is so it needs to be that so when you pull the cock when you cock the gun this is going to go backwards over here and then a lock will lock it in place let's create that lock then it's going to be large no, no, not that large. It's gonna come in a steep angle just like that. No, no, no. I need this to be quite far back because um, the ammunition is going to be here. So this is going to be the trigger. At this point, you have some physics problem like every other physics game. And I got this is quite frustrating in physics games when the collisions don't work. What? What is this Narnia magic thing? What is this? This is one of the things I do not like about Principia. Maybe uh, physics game in general. It's because the shit boxes are terrible. It bugs out like crazy. You see, it's not good. If a future bit hack 
If you're listening, please fix this. Look at that! Okay, we're switching strategies. I'm setting all the damper pressure to 120. That's the lowest you can get. And it finally works! Finally! And we're gonna test it out and it still extends full. So I'm just going to rotate this so it would be easier for the firing pin to lock back in place. So the lock works. Next thing we're gonna work on is the mechanism that releases the lock. Okay, so what we've done here is we've made it so this damper would lock it, but if there's power coming from, if this uh, linear servo is activated, it would release the firing pin causing it to fire. So in order to do that, we need a, we need a EC resistor over here. An EC resistor uh, reduces the amount of, of voltage depending on the signal at input 2 so we're going to have to uh, connect this one here input 1 right. um, RC micro under the robotics tab to be able to control when the fire the lock uh, when the trigger pulls the lock down and unlock it we're gonna use this this button at output 2 and we're gonna try it out and as you can see, if we do not press it, it's already pushed down and that's not what we want. So, we place an inverter so that if we push it, that's when it's, when we touch the button, that's when it's going down. I've made a ridiculous mistake here. I've accidentally grabbed a floor instead of an inverter. So, that could have caused problems, a lot of problems. And here we go. Okay, so what have we done here? First, we have added a guard, so there's no way the firing pin would rise up. Um, a city mini controls the direction and the speed of the city servo. In this case, I've placed a jumper on its reverse, so it would, uh, if it's activate, uh, it would, it would, the direction is downwards, because normally it would, the direction is upwards. I've tested it a while ago. Then, instead of controlling the speed, we're controlling the power. That allows us to, later on, be able to put this back, war, put this uh, firing pin backwards and relocking it over here. So, let's build the, that mechanism over here at the back. The mechanism, the mechanism that will pull the thing backwards. I'm assuming most of you know the basics of this game. Hopefully you know what the basic of this game the basics of this game. This is quite an intermediate build. Sorry if you do not get any of what I'm do trying to do here. Oh wait, this also needs to be. So again this is going to be the exact uh, it's going to be a similar setup to what we've done with the trigger. Oh this one also needs to be inverted. Ha, what a coincidence. We need an electronic uh, jumper. Hopefully people know the basics of, at least the basics of this game. It's better if people know the in, uh, are intermediate at this game. Because this is such an intermediate build. If you're new to the game, I don't know why you will be new to the game. Because the game is quite old and it's no longer available in Play Store. But this. Uh, maybe I'll make a Basics to Principia video. 
maybe I'll make a simpler car, a very simple car before making these intermediate builds and then I think it's time to replace the RC micro into a RC mini RC basic sorry RC basic over here to add the controls for the RC basics here's some something basic that everybody go getting into this game must know you press this setting switch and then you can drag the widget as you can see there's a label that's pretty much which output the output will go to so this so the switch goes to output zero I mean the, the button goes to the output zero and we want to invert this thing, this thing. Wow hopefully oh yeah there are people so there 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 are a few maybe a few of you who do not even know the game because the game is not out so yeah that gives you a reason to make the basics to principia game so here we go fire then we pull it yay it works it's very nice nice it works quite slow though Definition. Now I've already measured it a while ago but because of my ridiculous stupidity it actually became shorter now I'm here measuring it when I re when I fire it as you can see it's actually smaller than what we've measured a while ago because that's because I place a guard somewhere over there which i would totally undo later this is post editing narration by the way so uh, the ammunition ends up being small over here and i'm just going to make it uh, so that the firing pin fits the ammunition so that it could penetrate and fire the sh up and trigger the shells inside we're going to add a support at the second layer to um, to make sure that things do not fall out or stuff like that. And over here, I realized that we need to make the ammunition actually fit. And over th there we go. It needs, still needs to be a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. Needs to be larger because we really want that firing pin to fit inside. And the if we have this setting, uh, this setup, the plank does not have a size that would fit. So we're go just going to have it slant over here. And then, and then we're going to load the uh, gunpowder next. There is no gunpowder in this game, so I'm gonna use land island mine. So as you can see, it fits. It's very it, it's uh, it seems to be a very good system it fits I think it's not fully extended though because of that platform over there but that's going to be temporary or will it be temporary oh well now we're going to add the th uh, bar at the back so that the gunpowder or the landmines will not fall off but this uh, did not turn out as I expected because the firing pin is way, way, way too weak. And also, I'm using going to use boxes instead of stuff. Now, making the ammunition uh, is quite simple, but the later problem that proved problematic is how do we make it so that after we fire the ammunition, it would automatically load up. So here's the first version of my ammunition. I'd make this thing orange. Uh, the the projectile would be colored orange, and it's going to be attached. And hopefully the gunpowder would, and hopefully the gunpowder would trigger it to just fly out.
Alright, very nice. Now, because this is such, because the firing pin is in such in such a low pressure, I wonder if actually, oh, it does. Somehow it does break through it. Well, that's a nice breakthrough over there. Let's make it softer so we could actually see the thing breaking. Never mind, not maybe not that soft. Okay, let's test this out. Let's fire. Fire. Yes. But this... Okay, this is really getting out of hand. Connection. Edit. And lower the joint strength. The piece. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Yeah, here's another problem. Maybe we could have it like that. Maybe these things can be adjusted so it's tighter around the thing. There you go. Eh. Maybe we want a box for its ammunition. I do not know. Let's color this orange to distinguish the ammunition from the non-ammunition. Yes, that works. That works nicely. So there you go. We now have a the mechanism of the gun. Maybe we want to put a barrel over here. A barrel that rolls maybe. Okay, tight barrel. So this part is post editing. Uh something went really wrong with how I recorded the this part of the video, but basically I figured out how the loading ammunition works. So, this uh, linear servo uh, lifts up this plastic beam and it's elevated a tiny bit with uh, through this plastic box because we did have some clearance issues when I didn't use the plastic box. That lifts it up and we've connected it to a different power supply because this power supply is 24 volts and that's way just way too powerful. I've set this one to 2 volts and it has a more more forceful uh, setting to it. It's a lot more speedy. Then, this long thing over here pushes the shell outwards after you fired it. So, over there. I think it really have been so much better if, if I actually cut it on tape while I was building it. So. Maybe I should rebuild this or maybe I should just explain stuff. So this linear servo is connected to the city mini and the city mini is connected to the inverter which connects to the Y splitter. I don't know, uh, while building this one, I encountered a problem where this one is connected to the Y splitter yet it's not doing what I wanted so I kept it simple. I kept it simpler and did this instead so Y splitter connects to uh, two inverters and this inverter connects to the city mini this Y splitter is the output of letter G when uh, is this output well that's obvious this output also uh, Recox that thing over there. Uh, relocks the firing pin. Place it back on its ready position. And I think it's pretty effective. Now in hindsight, the firing pin would have been so much better if I've used a linear servo. This is hindsight because I've already recorded everything. And I'm just explaining what this is. In hindsight, this is such... A a better option I tried using dampers for the uh, I mean ammo loading system but it was too unpredictable it was too forceful I didn't have that uh, that Goldilocks, Goldilocks zone it would just either cause the shells to ex the gunpowder to the landmines to explode or 
get one of the shells stuck and that's not what we want this one's so much better and if the firing pin was actually a servo it's gonna be so much better and look how smoothly that thing works unlike this damper over here which just jiggles right about Uh, I may want to lower this thing too like that maybe that's a better improvement over there yes such so much better I didn't do that during the showcase I just realized when editing that that thing actually blocks the tr the locking mechanism and I don't know if this is this makes the mechanism so much better but yeah it does it's straighter now I guess okay so hope you've enjoyed this video even though the part where we load the ammunition it's not uh, it's not really uh, you really didn't build uh, didn't uh, you know what I'll just cut it out here peace out thank you for watching peace out I'm going probably going to create more videos so please consider subscribing not don't subscribe I'm just a fool who makes principia videos peace out